Welcome along then, it is Tuesday and it's time to get your fix, your qualifying strategy guide for this week's qualifying event from Australia GP. So hopefully we can get you off on the right track. First of all, a little treat for you, we've got a P1 Sprint Crate from Series 12 and remember we will be live this evening around 7pm UK time to do a couple of Sprint Crates so make sure you come and join us. So, little surprise for the video, let's see what we can get. Can it be something good, or are all you going to laugh at us? Well, let's find out. 12 Lewis Hamilton, we'll take that. It's not too bad on the common. Fernando Alonso, this is a good sign. I mean, surely we're going to get something good. That's not a bad sign. Still Lance Stroll, daddy's boy. And then, down to the epic, this is what everyone fears. Week in, week out, what are we going to get? Um, and yes, yeah, so on to the <laughs> on to the strategy guide, and I'll reload the game up now so we can take a look at what we have got coming in. That is why a lot of people don't do sprint crates. All that work for a very low series reward. So what have we got this week? It is the Australian Grand Prix, as we have already mentioned, and we have got three. 10% stat boosts. We have got Nick De Vries, which is probably not going to be used by a lot unless you are lower level. We've got 10% on George Russell Epic, and we've also got one of the best car parts with amazing cornering on the game, 10% on Virtue. So all your cornering is going to go up even more. So if you haven't got Virtue, it will be in crates this week as a promotion. But yes, just Epics, no rares, so they are the three that we are taking on this week. And qualifying, remember folks, times two rewards. Yes, double assets. So wherever you finish, you're going to get double of that number of cards as well. Now, just to preview this event, one of the big ones is because it is a race weekend, there is no legendary drivers allowed. So no legendary drivers for this week's GP. And the tracks that we are going to, we're going to have free track guides coming to you. And there is no requirement for a fastest lap in qualifying. We've got Melbourne, we've got Sao Paulo, we've got Mexico, and we've got Melbourne yet again. So hopefully we can run you through the best strategies. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't to support the channel. Remember, we use the very best boosts. If you don't have the boosts available, race start and cornering boosts are one of the best to simply go to. They are so good. So let's get into Melbourne, Sao Paulo, Mexico and back to Melbourne. But Melbourne will be covered off in one track map. So here is your lovely track map above me and to the right. We have got Melbourne up first and in race four, we've got 35% chance of rain and a 50% chance of rain. So we need to run through all of the strategies available now. Obviously, this track has been updated, but we've got the same strategies. We have got a three soft, three soft, two soft and a four medium, four medium. So obviously less race start required from the front compared to the back drivers. So Kawhi and Cup are in there for the back, Prince and Nazar. And if you're from the front, Merlion and Kawhi, why not use them? They are the, one of the best boosts or even both boosts on the game. Prince and Cup are in there too. So anything race start and cornering, you cannot go wrong. Now, in the wet, it is very tricky to do five wet round here. Do not recommend it. If it is a full wet race, then first half of the field will pit on lap five. The second half will pit on lap four. So make sure you're ahead of the second half because then you will get first pit stops, you will get no blocking, and then you'll be able to undercut the ones that push onto lap five. Remember, it is a good track to do race start on for the first lap. So make sure you to try and get through positions. Over on the right hand side, you can see our track map. So all in red is pretty much the good overtaking places. Of course, they're through the corners with two key places to conserve your power unit down the home straight and through that middle sector as well. So make sure to conserve so you can get the power unit back for attacking them. 
Race number two then, one of my favourite tracks. And if you are watching this, I want you to comment below what is your favourite track on F1 Clash? Because Brazil for me is one of my most favourite. Now this is a track nine laps with 33% chance of rain as well. So we need to go through both sets of strategies. So it's the same strategies from the front. Free soft, free soft, free soft, and a four medium, five hard, Copper and Kawhi. Now from the back, you can follow the same strategies, but I will do a future update on this track map, probably for next time. You can run something different in Brazil, and it is one of my favorite strategies. So if you're watching and listening, you get the really good advice here. You can run a five medium, four medium, if you have over 90 tire management, or obviously a tire boost. So that is great over a four medium, five hard. They both work well, but if I was you and you can get a tire management boost if you need it, a five medium, four medium is really, really good. Now in the wet, we've got a five wet, four wet from the front and a four wet, five wet for the rest. We're expecting a lot of the AI to pit on lap five with two or three cars actually going to lap six. So if you're undercutting, you are not going to get in the traffic of the pit lane. Remember, before you select your boosts, before you select your tyres, you will be able to see the weather map above so you can see the intervals of the weather before you start. No shock that there's one key place to conserve power unit that is up the hill and down the straight and then you can attack through the rest of the corners. But a very good track, very good overtaking. And remember, five medium, four medium is a very decent strategy as well. Little secret, we don't give them all on these track maps. And then finally, because it's race number three and we've already been through Melbourne, we're going to run you through Mexico. And it's the only track that is going to be dry this week, well, this week, until we get to Saturday and Sunday. So, basically, both strategies are the same. It's a four soft, four medium, Merlion and Copper from the front, and a five medium, three soft. It is the same strategies from the back. But if you want to run a four soft, you're going to need around 90 tyre management plus. So if you haven't got that, you could use a boost like Nazar, even Movember to try and help you on tyre management. If you can't, there is no problem doing a four medium, four medium. So go and have a look and check that one out. Very good strategies still to run. Five medium, three soft means that you won't push too much on the mediums, but you will really be able to hit hard on the last three laps on them soft tyres. Remember, lap one can be a pain at Mexico. Going into that first corner, it is very easy to get absolutely bogged down. And I've even witnessed recently moving back in the field from that turn one. So it is gonna be a very, very difficult track, but hopefully we can get you through on them 47 points or as close to as possible. So that is your strategy guide for this week. Remember on Friday, we will release your weekend strategy guide to so make sure to come and join us for that. Remember, we're going to be live this evening as well to do a couple of sprint crates on the free to play account and just go out there and smash it. Do your absolute best. We're nearly, nearly there for the new season. And I can't wait to see you joining us for all the races from series one to 12, maybe next year as well. So fingers crossed, it's going to be a good game for F1 Clash 24. Well, that's what we pray for.